Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a better way to finish off FIBA 23 and footies in general than with a big EA mistake. Yes, guys, EA dropped a massive player pick yesterday that nobody was expecting, and it was glitched. It was giving out the wrong types of cards, and if you're looking for it, if you missed it like I did, it's not going to be there. You're not going to find it because EA removed it from the game shortly after they dropped it. We'll talk about compensation in September, and also today's content on a Monday. Will EA finally give us that unlimited repeatable 85 times 10. We have our fingers crossed for that on this last week of footies in FIBA 23. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go over yesterday's content because there was actually a decent amount. First of all, we finally got our cover star icon, Lothar Mateus, 99 rated. They dropped a massive boost on this card, W Dynamic Image. The only thing you could look at and complain about this is he's not 5-star, five 5-star. Five he's 4-star, 5-star, but still, with those stats, I mean, that's another almost must-do SBC, must-craft SBC this week with the repeatable 84-10, 85 times 10 we expect to have back in some capacity today on this game. You guys know the crafting right now, the situation with that. 99 passing stats all the way down the board, 99 stats everywhere. I think this might have the most in-game stats, or actually 100% has the most in-game stats of any card on Ultimate Team. An absolute crazy SBC. And 16 squads, that's right exactly where we thought it was going to be. Almost the same exact price as Erling Holland. A million coins once you add all that together. But of course, very craftable and easy to get done with the grind on the menus right now. That is just an insane card. Like, you see those stats, guys. Like, that is just a crazy icon. 99 overall, but the individual stats inside of the card, I think is lowest. Well, he's got 80 jumping. That's the lowest stat. Other than that, it's 92. The crazy, crazy card. So try him out. He can play center back, center mid, or center defensive mid. All around, just absolutely insane card. End game for sure with that Mateus. Just what we expected, honestly. So GG's to EA for delivering on that one. Now also yesterday, we had not the 83 times 100, but the 82 times 100 re-released. And I'm pretty sure the last time this re-released, I think it was either five or six squads. And here we are with a seven squad, 82 times 100. I don't know about you guys, but it just kind of seems a little bit wrong to turn in 92 and even 91 rated squads for an 82 and above. Even though it's a 100 players pack, for 82 rated and above, I'm going to turn in 91s and 92s. This pack is a big time gamble, and I guess if you have no other SBCs to do and you're crafting still through the menus right now, you could get this one done, but 550k and all that squad you know, uh, fodder that you have to put in. It just seems like a little bit. Yeah, you get some tradable packs back, but at this stage of the game, I would rather hunt after the footies 99 rated cards and do just like the footies 90 plus player pick, the tots shapeshifter, that one, or I still have not done my 94 plus refresh that, yes, that happened yesterday as well. So I would rather look at those first personally and then go on to like an icon or a player SBC before doing that 82 times 100. But at least it's there, and if you're trying to hit a big time footies badge three or a footies card that's impacts right now, then that is there for the taking. Now, let's talk about the glitched player pick because it is no longer available in the menus, guys. EA dropped a player pick yesterday for the level up cards, and I still have a couple of level up cards that make it into my team, and these are still, I think, pretty recent cards, right? Especially some of the premium ones that were upgraded with those chemistry values as well. Level up cards this year, guys. Uh, what, a, what a promo that was. What a crazy time that was, and it wasn't like that long ago, honestly, if you remember it, it kind of was, but it also kind of wasn't. I don't think any of us expected yesterday to see this player pick dropped in the SBC section. A level up player pick. Only 100,000 coins to complete, just two squads. It's a one of four level up team one or team two upgraded versions only. Yes, guys, we're talking about, you know, that 94 Renato Sanchez that we had to play 30 games for or the 97 Varan, not the 95. The 97 is the one that you're going to be getting from the player pick, right? The player pick was unfortunately yesterday giving out the 95. I saw some people packing this card. You were supposed to get the 97 and that was the issue 
with it. But first of all, this is crazy, right? They're handing out these cards for basically free. I know that it's the end game, and that's the reason I don't have a big problem with this, but it also just kind of hits different. It kind of takes away the, I don't know, the uniqueness and kind of like the, wow, look at me. I grinded a bunch of games in, you know, what it was it, July for these level up cards when they were released at the early part of July. Because if you had that 98 Gretzka, the 97 Varan, or the 99 rated KDB, like that's kind of a flex in its own right because if you have the 99 KDB, that probably means that you paid millions of coins, 11 mil for this card when it was when it was out, uh, for the 98 that is, uh, at the beginning to go and play all those games with it. And then, of course, once the objective went away, his price went down a ton. But like, if you have a card like that, that was part of the uniqueness of the level up cards was the flex. So I know some people were disappointed where it's like, wow, EA just released these cards via an SBC that we had to grind 30 or maybe less than that games for, but I had to pay millions of coins as well. So I understand a little bit of the frustration, but also, I mean, it's late August. It's basically September. I understand the fun aspect of this too. It is a great player pick and that's why it's got so much hype. But unfortunately, instead of giving up, like giving out, like we said, the second levels, the 97, the upgraded versions of Varane, instead it was giving out the 95s. It was given out the lower rated version and that made EA remove the player pick. It said they said it contains incorrect rewards and has been removed. Impacted players will be sent a new player pick in game in the coming days. So compensation, of course, if you completed it in the first looks like an hour and 20 minutes after the SBC is released, you will be getting another player pick that will give you the level up cards. Now, if you missed it, I was not on, I was not looking at the menus during this time, or at least I did not have enough opportunity to go in and do the player pick with the fodder that I had in my club. Unfortunately, um, I hope that the SBC comes back. The way that they worded it in that context was, the level up player pick SBC has been temporarily removed, which to me sounds like, okay, they could bring it back. And I kind of hope that they do bring it back because I would want to hit that player pick. It's a one of four and it's only two different squads of players. So yeah, you know, KDB, uh, Varan, Alfonso Davies is a card that I never got to use. I did the Renato Sanchez, but still, um, you know, what a card that was. And, uh, you know, Team 2 cards that I, I didn't mention yet. Like, I already did the Nunez. I didn't do Goretzka. Didn't do Chameni. That would have been a fun one to, to get from this. So, it's definitely one of those player picks that has a lot of intrigue and interest because not all of us did a lot of those games, especially even a month ago, wanted to grind through that many games. Even though it was a W promo concept, still, it was a lot of games at the end of the year, towards the end of the year to do. So, I hope compensation doesn't take too long so that if you do get a player pick, that it comes back pretty soon so you can actually use that card in the end game. And also, I hope the SBC comes back so that we can still do that here pretty soon because the joke right now is that all oh, EA is not going to give out compensation for this until FC24. And while that is a pretty funny joke and it's probably going to take them later on into this week, maybe even next week, to get that compensation paid out, I don't know how fast things are going to move with this one. Um, you know, it's it's a compensation situation and it was a messed up mistake by EA. Um, and it just kind of seems fitting that we're ending the footies promo with that and kind of ending with a big mistake uh, at the end of this year because it's been a year of some crazy EA mistakes, guys. A 25k hero pack. I mean, countless numbers of mistakes, especially there was that one rough patch. I think it was like early June where there was just mistake after mistake. And it was like, remember, everybody was about compensation in those store packs, like changing the languages of the store to try to get the compensation. Like that whole time on the game this year was absolutely wild so i think the player pick sbc is going to be returning it's a crazy one i'm definitely going to get it done when it does come back just for fun right because that's a great type of sbc to have for fun at the latter stages of this game now let's move into today monday content upgrade sbc day we're talking about fun right one way that ea can up the ante just a little bit more because this is the last week of footies, guys. Like, this promo is ending for footies. A lot of these footies SBCs you'll see in here expire on Friday or maybe even before that. And I think that's going to be the end of a lot of the pink cards in this game and the SBCs and all that good stuff. Probably maybe moving into some sort of preseason promo, which we'll talk about later on this week as well. But, of course, it's Monday, which means 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10 SBCs are technically expiring, guys. They're going away. The timers are saying they are going to run out. And the question is, just like every other week, how much is EA going to let us grind for this last week of footies? Is the 84 times 10 going to come back unlimited repeatable? I hope it does. But what about the 85 times 10? Will EA be nice today and allow us to do this SBC 
unlimited number of times or are they going to make this go up to being 10 times a day just so that they can be annoying and also keep the 84 times 10 out unlimited repeatable i really hope that the 85 times 10 gets re-released today unlimited and maybe they drop that squad requirement from an 88 to an 87 and just get rid of the 84 times 10 all the way that'd be fine by me but i would i would expect both of these sbcs to come back or at least one of them i don't think the grind is going to be dead today i wouldn't worry about having to stock these up i do believe it'll come back the real question is is ea going to make the 85 10 unlimited or are they going to keep it to like 10 or 8 or 9 completions per day definitely know that that's going to be part of content today and of course a very important part of content because that's how all of our fun on the menus right now is kind of that's what it's all centered around those sbcs the 82 plus player pick goes away today as well and of course we are getting another low tier upgrade pack and that's already known to us because that's inside of objectives inside of the xp for week six we are getting an 80 plus player pick which guys this has got to require like not very many golds in the sbc for us to really want to do it because if you think about it we've been doing 81 and 82 plus player picks that have required um rares recently and this one better be like five or six or seven golds and that's it because it's an 80 plus that's a really low rating in my opinion for this stage of the game i was hoping that'd be a little bit better but it is what it is hopefully it's a bit cheaper that's going to come out today make sure you do that to get a little bit of xp if you're still chasing that as well and like we mentioned guys the last week to grind the menu so if you haven't done the 94 plus or the 90 plus or any of the icons that you want to do but specifically for myself still trying to hit other 99 rated cards right now in this game like you know the Messi, the mbappe the cristiano ronaldo i hit the benzema but i'm not happy right i'm gonna do my 94 pluses today on stream more 90 plus picks and of course crafting through all of the upgrade packs 84 85 times tens and all the sbcs right the holland i haven't completed yet still got to get that card in the club so there's still a lot of crafting to do now speaking of player sbcs we got the mateus right but we still have not gotten the casillas card and we're expecting an cover icon casillas still and in, in some sort of way um seems like it would be an sbc now since we have not uh not expecting an objective player today i guess we could get one but watch out for casillas that might be one last cover star icon still don't know when it's going to drop but that's kind of the only leak that we still have thus far and last thing i want to cover in this video is really quickly the beginning of the ratings reveals for fc 24 foot scoreboard yesterday ooh, voice crack that was a good one foot scoreboard yesterday tweeted out the top 50 ratings reveal has started positions 50 to 41 now before we go into this and i want to look at these just a little bit we'll be doing another eafc video here later on this week kind of looking keeping you guys up to date on all the news and information that's kind of been slowly released throughout the past couple of weeks he's releasing like 10 players at a time guys i believe this is being structured by foot scoreboard who's getting these leaks um and posting them kind of like how ea do the reveals as well i don't know if he has all 50 players the way that he's saying it right now is top 50 ratings reveal which makes me think that he does um but we'll see i would expect to see ratings 40 through 31 dropped today so watch out for more news there a couple interesting things here smith what a card uh katoto will be a definite troll for the mbappe walkout striker french psg right before you see the different league on the card you'll definitely be thinking mbappe neuer going down a rating sun um modric right modric downgrading rating as well baltar martinez getting a plus one odegaard i think this is one of the most interesting things here and this happens every year we're going to talk about it but odegaard got a plus three overall as you can see in one of the responses to the initial tweet by weaver here odegaard plus three rating but minus four pace and they seem to do this every single year man is they really kill the pace on a lot of these cards and really i think the reason why ea does this is they lower the stats on the actual face of the card i would love to compare marquinhos 88 this year to the 87 we'll have to do a little bit more deep diving later on soon um they, they just seem to kill some of those more important stats but i think the reason why they do that guys is because we see it every year now more and more they want to make gold cards more irrelevant faster than they ever have before we don't use gold card gold cards in our team for longer than like what the first three months of the game because by then they want those cards to be irrelevant and they want us using new promo cards that we bought off the market or tried to pack or from other doing sbcs and it's all about progressing away from those cards 
as fast as possible. And the way that they're showing with these ratings really feeds all into that. So once again, I will say these are leaks. These are not 100% confirmed on EA's um, pitch notes for Ultimate Team. They mentioned September. That's when we're going to have some player ratings. So I would really expect the confirmed ratings from EA next week. But with these tweets being put out about the top 50, these, I mean, Foot Scoreboard guys is tweeting out stuff that like, that's pretty legit, right? Usually Foot Scoreboard tweets out pack code. So he's been very, very, very reputable so far. And uh, I think that is very, very, you know, it's fine to assume that these are going to be the actual card ratings uh, because I also don't think they match what was in the beta. I just guessing there. I don't know for sure. That's just a guess. But um, yeah, so that's kind of the news there with EAFC 24. But really, our minds are still focused on today. 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable EA. Drop us that good, refreshing SBC content. Let us grind for this next couple days on the menus. And uh, yeah, maybe drop us a Casillas or maybe one other banger footies player SBC. That would be a nice way to start off this last week of footies and drop that level up player pick back in the game here pretty soon too because i would like to do that one and i think a lot of you guys that missed it right away would like to do it as well so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate for the count see you guys in a video tomorrow peace